Welcome to the spring race at Darlington Raceway for the weekend of May 10th through the 12th of 2024. This weekend is the Craftsman Truck Series Buckle Up South Carolina 200, the Xfinity Series Crown Royal Purple Bag Project 200, and the Cup Series Goodyear 400. Last weekend we saw some very good races at Kansas Speedway. In the Arkham Menard Series on Saturday, we saw Connor Mozak take the checkered flag. The next race for the Arkham Menard Series is on May 24th at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Last week in the Truck Series race at Kansas, I had Corey Heim as my winner with Zane Smith and Christian Eckes as wild cards. In that race, Corey Heim finished first, Zane Smith second, and Christian Eckes third. Not a bad day at all for my truck race predictions. In the Cup Series Advent Health 400 at Kansas Speedway, we saw the closest race finish ever in NASCAR Cup history. My race prediction was for William Byron to win, but he got into the wall during qualifying and never made up for that mistake, finishing in 23rd. My wild card of Bubba Wallace did not have a good day either, finishing in 17th. On the other wild card of Kyle Larson, he won the race over Chris Buescher in overtime by one one thousandth of a second. If you have not seen the photos or video of the finish, I would recommend that you check it out. It was a spectacular finish to a great race. Had it not been for a late race spin by Kyle Busch to bring out the caution, I believe that Martin Truex Jr. would have won. He had some really good momentum at that time. The schedule of events for the weekend at Darlington Raceway starts on Friday, May 10th at 3.05 p.m. Eastern Time with truck practice. This is followed by qualifying at 3.35 p.m. Eastern Time. The Xfinity Series will have practice at 5.05 p.m. Eastern Time with qualifying at 5.35 p.m. Eastern Time. The last event of the day is the Craftsman Truck Series Buckle Up South Carolina 200 at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. All events for the day are on FS1. On Saturday, May 11th, the Cup Series practice starts at 10.35 a.m. Eastern Time, with qualifying at 11.20 a.m. Eastern Time. The final event of the day is the Xfinity Race Crown Royal Purple Bag Project 200 at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. All events for Saturday will be broadcast on FS1. The final event of the weekend is on Sunday with the NASCAR Cup Series Goodyear 400. This is the annual throwback paint scheme race for Darlington. The Cup race is at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1. The weather for Friday is not looking so good. As of Wednesday, there's a 60% chance of thunderstorms all day with a high near 82 degrees. Saturday is looking nice with clear and sunny skies and a high near 76 degrees. More of the same for the cup race on Sunday with a high near 80 degrees. All weather can be found on weather.gov. 1950 was the first NASCAR race at Darlington. This would be the first race on an oval bigger than one mile. The size of the track in 1950 was 1.5 miles. It is currently 1.366 miles. Since 1950, there have been 125 cup races at Darlington. The Southern 500 started that year on Labor Day weekend. In 1950-51, to 51, there was one race each year. In 1952, they had two races. In 1953-59, to 59, they went back to one race, the Southern 500. In 1960, NASCAR held a spring and fall race. The traditional Southern 500 was still held on Labor Day weekend through 2003. In 2004, the date was changed to a November race only, no spring. From 2005 to 2013, the Southern 500 was held on Mother's Day. 2014 saw the race go to April. From 2015 to present, they moved the Southern 500 back to Labor Day weekend. From 2004 to 2019, there was only one race at Darlington each year. In 2020, there were three races at this track. Since 2021, there have been two races each year. In 2001, NASCAR had the first truck race at Darlington. They would run this race from 2001 to 2004, 2010 to 2016, and from 2020 till present day. 
Bobby Hamilton was the winner of the first truck series race at Darlington in 2001. In last year's truck race at Darlington, Christian Eckes was first, Stuart Friesen second, and Tanner Gray in third. In this year's Buckle Up South Carolina 200, I have Christian Eckes repeating his win from last year. Eckes is currently ranked second in points. In eight races this season, he has two wins with an average finish of 7.125. My first wild card is Corey Heim. Heim is currently first in points with two wins in eight races this season. He has an average finish of 7.5. Clearly separated themselves as the top two contenders so far in the 2024 season. The last wild card is Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch is always a threat to win in the truck races. In three races this season, Busch has two wins with an average finish of 5.66 so don't be surprised if he wins the race. 1982 was the first race in the Xfinity Series at Darlington. This race was won by Jeff Bodine. In last year's race for the Xfinity Series, Kyle Larson was first, Justin Allgaier second, and Cole Custer third. In the 2024 race, I have Cole Custer winning. Custer is currently second in points. In 10 races, he has zero wins, five top fives, and an average finish of 7.8. As I have said before, it is just a matter of time before he wins this season. The third place finish from last year gives him some good momentum on this track. The first wild card is the current number one ranked driver in the Xfinity series, Chandler Smith. Smith has two wins in 10 races this season with an average finish of seventh. The final Xfinity wildcard is Jesse Love. Currently ranked fourth in points, in 10 races Love has one win and three poles as a rookie in the Xfinity series this season. He has an average finish of 10.5 this season. On paper, this is a solid list of predictions for this weekend's Xfinity race. Johnny Mance was the winner of the first Southern 500 race at Darlington in 1950. In the history of NASCAR races at Darlington, no one has won more than David Pearson. His first win was in May of 1968. Between his first win and last win at Darlington in 1980, Pearson would win 10 races, have 24 top fives, 30 top tens, and holds the record for most polls won with 12. The last win at Darlington would be his 105th and final win in his career. Who are the current drivers that have won at Darlington? Kyle Larson, September 2023. William Byron, May 2023. Joey Logano, May 2022. Brad Keselowski, 2018. Kyle Busch, 2008. Martin Truex Jr., May 2021. 2016. Eric Jones, 2019 and 2022. Denny Hamlin, 2010, 2017, May 2020, September 2021. In last year's spring race at Darlington, William Byron was first. Kevin Harvick second, and Chase Elliott third. In the 2024 Goodyear 400 at Darlington, I have Tyler Reddick taking the checkered flag. He is currently ranked fifth in points. In 12 races this season, Reddick has one win, four top fives, and an average finish of 13.25. In six races at Darlington since 2021, Reddick has no wins and three top fives, and an average finish of 9.8. That is the second highest average at this track for active drivers since 2021. Joey Logano has the highest average at 9.3. Overall, Reddick has been good on this track. I will be looking for him to bring home the win this weekend. My first wild card is William Byron. This season, he is 7th in points in 12 races. With 3 wins, 4 top 5s, and an average finish of 13th. In six races at Darlington since 2021, 
Byron has one win and three top fives and an average finish of 10.7. I look for him to qualify much better this weekend, giving him a great chance of winning on Sunday. The last wild card for the cup race at Darlington is Chase Elliott. Chase is third in points with one win in 12 races this season. He has five top fives and an average finish of 9.667 on the season. In six races at Darlington since 2021, Chase has no wins and two top fives with a third place finish last year and an average finish of 15th. This is the annual Throwbacks Paint Scheme race. Let me know what throwback was your favorite of the weekend in the comments. Just look up 2024 Darlington Throwback Paint Schemes to find pictures of those cars. A few sites that have them are jski.com, that is J-A-Y-S-K-I dot C-O-M, and NASCAR.com. Thanks for watching and enjoy the weekend of racing at Darlington Raceway.